one year after gastric sleeve surgery, what your diet should look like. Written by Sierra House, MS, RD, LDN, and medically reviewed by Dr. Stephen Boyce, MD. Things change after the honeymoon phase that follows bariatric surgery. Here's how to get back to basics with your diet when you're six to 12 months post-op. After bariatric surgery, there's a perfect storm of contributing factors that make losing weight seemingly effortless. We've heard this period of time called the honeymoon phase. Here's what happens. One, you just had surgery, so you're not going to be hungry. Two, you have to heal from your surgery, so you're following a four-phase diet that dramatically restricts calories, carbs, and fat. Three, you are more motivated than ever because you decided to take action and have surgery to lose the weight you need to lose. All three of these points work together to cause rapid and exciting weight loss in the six to 12 months following your bariatric surgery. But what happens after that first year when the number on the scale stops getting smaller or starts to get higher? What should your diet look like one year after gastric sleeve? The short answer, your diet should look like it did when you were losing weight after surgery. It means high protein, low calories, low carbohydrates, and low fat. A phrase I've seen thrown around the WLS message boards is getting back to basics. That's generally good advice when it comes to diet because people love making dieting overly complicated. It's like they think that the more complicated or rigorous the diet is, that means they're trying harder and doing everything they can to get the weight to drop. Fortunately, the basics are all you need in order to enjoy steady and safe weight loss after bariatric surgery. Like I said a moment ago, your diet one year after bariatric surgery should look like the diet you were following when you were losing weight after surgery. That is the last phase, phase four, of your four-phase post-op diet, the basics. Four-phase diet, phase four recap. The four-phase post-op diet has one primary goal, and that is to help your stomach heal after the bariatric surgery. The goal is to provide enough protein and nutrients without the volume that could stretch and tear the surgery site. That's why you start with only liquids, move to pureed food, then to soft foods, and finally to low-calorie, high-protein, healthy foods. At phase four, you've reached the end of the healing first mentality, and now you're in weight loss mentality. Since phase four normally starts four months after surgery for bariatric patients of all procedure types, everyone will be on this stage of the diet until you reach your goal weight. Calories, one year after gastric sleeve. As a general guideline, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics suggests 1,200 to 1,500 calories per day for women for weight loss and 1,500 to 1,800 calories per day for men for weight loss. However, it's quite common for bariatric clinics to recommend a diet of around 900 to 1,200 calories after the six-month mark post-op. This is considered a very low-calorie diet, VLCD, and should be approved by your doctor or dietitian before starting. If you're worried about cutting your calories too low, then start at the higher end of the range provided and follow it strictly for a few weeks. If you don't see any changes, do two things. Number one, are you absolutely unequivocally meeting that calorie goal? Or is there a possibility that you're accidentally going over? If so, keep a strict journal and stick with the same number of calories for a few weeks. Number two, lower your calories by 100 calories for the next few weeks and see if that does the trick but don't go below the bottom of that recommended range without talking to your doctor or dietitian. Remember, at its simplest explanation, the success of your weight loss comes down to total calories consumed. If you eat too many calories, your weight will go up. If you eat fewer calories than your body burns, your weight will go down. Removing other factors like social, psychological, and other less quantitative measures, weight loss is about energy balance. That said, there's a handful of other considerations when talking about your diet one year after gastric sleeve and other bariatric surgeries. Protein, one year after gastric sleeve. Women, 65 grams plus. Men, 75 grams plus. BPD, DS, 90 grams plus. RNY and sleeve patients should get at least 60 grams for women and 75 grams for men of protein per day. BPD or DS patients should get more at least 90 grams of protein per day. When weight loss is the goal, there are only two things that you need to focus on, total calories consumed and total protein consumed. If you get those two numbers correct 90% of the time, then you will lose weight. Why is protein so important? During times of calorie restriction, trying to lose weight, 
it's been proven that higher protein intake is helpful in maintaining lean body mass. After all, you want to lose weight from body fat, not lean body mass. Further, protein is the most filling macronutrient, and hunger is arguably the most uncomfortable part about dieting for weight loss. Swap out your carb-laden snack for a comparable protein snack, and you can fend off hunger until dinner much, much easier. Protein and exercise. If you have begun to exercise, then protein has become even more important to your healthy life after bariatric surgery. While you're exercising, you are effectively tearing and breaking down muscle tissue, and the natural reaction is for your body to heal or recover and come back stronger to handle the stress you just put it through. But your muscles need the nutrients and building blocks to make that happen. Protein provides those building blocks. So if you're exercising and not getting an adequate amount of protein, you are not allowing your body to recover properly, and you can get injured. So, get your protein right. Carbohydrates and fat one year after gastric sleeve. Here's the cool part about structuring diet with calorie and protein prioritization. The rest doesn't really matter. As long as you are abiding by the first two rules, get your calories and protein right, the rest will fall into place. Here's why it works this way. Macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, and fat each contain calories. So when you look on a nutrition label, total calories per serving is derived from protein, carb, and fat contents. Numerically, here's how it works out. Protein, four calories per gram. Carbohydrates, four calories per gram. Fat, nine calories per gram. So here are a few examples of how the carb and fat portion can fluctuate as long as you get your calories and protein right. Fewer carbs, more fat. Calorie goal, 900. Protein, 60 grams times four calories per gram equals 240 calories. Carbohydrates, 50 grams times four calories per gram equals 200 calories. Fat, 51 grams times nine calories per gram equals 459 calories. Total, 899 calories. And here is an example of how you can reach the same calories by manipulating only the carbohydrates and fat and leaving protein the same. Notice how the only thing that changes is how many carbohydrates and how much fat is consumed, but the calories are more or less the same. More carbs, less fat. Calorie goal, 900. Protein, 60 grams times four calories per gram equals 240 calories. Carbohydrates, 100 grams times four calories per gram equals 400 calories. Fat, 30 grams times nine calories per gram equals 270 calories. Total, 910 calories. As you can see, in both of these scenarios, total calories and total protein stay the same, but you can play with and be flexible with your carbs and fat. Eating rules. Now that you know how many calories and how much of each macronutrient, now we'll talk about eating rules. These are basically quick rules that help you adhere to your calorie and macronutrient goals. Meal size and plate breakdown. Keep the total size of the meal to four to six ounces of food. Measure and weigh everything you prepare and be as accurate as you can be to avoid calorie creep. Make sure your plate is made up of at least one half to two thirds protein and the rest made up of vegetables and starches. Eat protein first. Always eat the protein portion of your meal first. Once you finish the protein, move on to the veggies and starches. If you're full after eating the protein portion, stop eating. Don't worry about the clean plate club. Don't drink with meals. Hold drinking any fluids 30 minutes before your meal, during your meal, and 30 minutes after your meal. This will help you feel fuller and help with macronutrient absorption. What foods should I eat? Protein, lean meats like chicken, lean ground beef, and turkey. All seafood and fish, eggs, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, legumes, protein bars, and protein shakes. Carbohydrates, whole grains like brown rice, buckwheat, and oatmeal, fruits and fibrous vegetables. And fat, avocados, olive oil, nuts and natural nut butters, olives, and fatty fish like salmon. You'll notice that if you search for most of these food items that your trip to the grocery store will keep you to the perimeter sections of the store. These areas typically have more fresh and unprocessed items, which is a good thing. Stick to whole food options and supplement with high quality protein supplements for the sole purpose of helping you reach your daily protein goal. Supplements are called supplements for a reason. 
you should aim to get the majority of your protein from whole foods like lean meats, chicken, and fish. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, there are other options for you like tofu, tempeh, and legumes. Ultimately, weight loss comes down to these key steps. 1. Eat the correct amount of calories every day. 2. Eat enough protein every day. 3. Eat healthy and nutritious foods. 4. Count everything you put into your mouth that has calories. If you can do those four things 90% of the time, you will continue to lose weight in a healthy way. Use this article as a guide to help you get back to basics. For more information, check out www.barrylife.com. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.